Sri Lanka has been the limelight for all the wrong reasons during the past few weeks. The country's financial problems, which started in April when it suspended payments on its government bonds and mounting to 78 million US dollars, have worsened. Though most of the problems have been due to financial mismanagement, some Western media have chosen to pin the blame on China. In today's base beat, let's find out who is actually responsible for Sri Lanka's huge foreign debt. First off, it has to be categorically said that there is no truth and evidence that China is to blame for Sri Lanka's debt crisis. China accounts for just 10% of Sri Lanka's foreign debt, with Western financial institutions controlling a majority of the balance holdings. Lending credence to these facts is data from Sri Lanka's Ministry of External Resources, which shows that Sri Lanka's external debt in April 2021 was largely borrowings. International capital market borrowing accounted for 47% of the debt, while loans from Asia Development Bank was 13%. These figures alone are enough to blow the hole in the Western narrative. So what really caused Sri Lanka's debt crisis? The debt crisis cannot be separated from two issues, the Russia-Ukraine conflict and aggressive interest rate highs in the United States to fight inflation. Sri Lanka, the first emerging market country to fall in the storm of the fast interest rate hike, is facing a dual economic and political crisis. Because of the fast interest rate hike, international capital is flowing back to the US, leaving the majority of the small and medium-sized developing countries facing very serious capital shortage. For the US, this is an often repeated process of crippling the economies of developing countries. In addition, since the outbreak of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, energy and food prices have soared, dealing with the devastating blow to many developing countries that depends on imports. Since a large chunk of government revenues and foreign exchange inflows are needed to serve the debt, there is hardly anything left for productive investment. Increasing productivity is the key to solving Sri Lanka's debt problem. But this calls for significant investment in modernizing infrastructure, industry, and the agricultural sector. Contrary to the debt trap argument, China is not Sri Lanka's largest creditor, but the country's largest foreign direct investor. What are the US and the Europe needs to do is not to spread conspiracy theories like China's debt trap, but to join hands with China's Belt and Road Initiative to help Sri Lanka increase its productive capabilities.